Today, we will talk about the book-to-bill ratio, definition, how it's calculated, and example. The book-to-bill ratio is the ratio of orders received to units shipped and billed for a specified period, often a month or quarter. It's used primarily in the technology industry, especially in the semiconductor equipment sector. Investors and analysts keep a close eye on this ratio to gauge a company's performance and the outlook for the technology sector overall. When the ratio is above 1, it means there were more orders received than filled, indicating strong demand. On the other hand, a ratio below 1 implies weaker demand. The formula to calculate the book-to-bill ratio is straightforward. You simply divide the number of orders received by the number of orders shipped. In equation form, it looks like this, book-to-bill equals orders received slash orders shipped. The book-to-bill ratio is used to measure supply and demand in volatile industries like the technology sector. It essentially measures the number of orders coming in compared to the number of orders going out. If a company fulfills orders immediately as they come in, its book-to-bill ratio will be 1. The ratio reveals how quickly a business fulfills the demand for its products, as well as the strength of a particular sector. It can be a helpful metric when making investment decisions as well. Here's a real-world example to help illustrate the book-to-bill ratio. In June 2016, semiconductor companies in the U.S. and Canada received orders averaging $1.71 billion over three consecutive months, resulting in a book-to-bill ratio of 1. This means that for every $100 in orders received, $100 worth of product was billed. By looking at these numbers, investors and analysts could gain valuable insights into the performance and outlook of these companies. Bookings represent a customer's intent to commit to a purchase, while billings represent the collection of the customer's money once the purchase is complete. A book-to-bill ratio greater than 1 is generally seen as a positive sign of high demand in an industry. However, the ratio of exactly 1 is also significant as it indicates a business is meeting its customer's demand in a timely manner. A company may have a book-to-bill ratio less than 1 if it's shipping out more units than it has received orders for in the current period. This could signal decreasing demand for the product, as the company is fulfilling orders from a previous period. In conclusion, the book-to-bill ratio can provide valuable insights into a company's performance by showing whether it's meeting demand or has more demand for its products than it's filling. This metric is widely used in the technology industry and helps assess the performance and outlook of individual companies and the industry sector as a whole. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Book-to-bill ratio is the ratio of orders received to units shipped and billed for the period. 2. A ratio above 1 means more orders were received than filled, indicating strong demand. 3. A ratio below 1 means more orders were shipped than received during the month, indicating diminishing demand. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.